Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today, in this video, we are going to explain the complete wiring diagram of the module 8610, the DFC controller module, synchronization controller module, complete wiring diagram explanation in this video. Before the starting the video, I smile request to all newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more lit subject videos. So let's get started and explain the complete wiring diagram of the DFC 8610. So let's get started. As you can see, the back side of the, the DFC controllers, as you can see, pen number two and pen number one. This is the battery negative and battery positive and put supply for the controller to turning on. Okay. You need to take the supply from the fuse and also two ampere fuse and then take out from the circuit breaker. Five ampere or ten ampere circuit breakers and insert it to the negative to the negative and positive to the positive. One is negative, B is positive. As you can see, understand two is our positive, one is our negative. After that, as you can see, pen number 3 and also pen number 4 and 5. Pen number 3 is emergency push button input. This is the positive input supply which is coming from battery positive. As you can see here, this is the splice. Okay. This is going to directly out from the fuse and then going to directly insert it to the pen 3 okay as you can see when you input the supply of the emergency push button and pin number 3 this is out from the emergency NC okay and then insert it to the pin number 3 okay this is the feed of the when emergency push button is not pressed this is the continuously feeding supply of the fuel and some for some time for the crank when you press the green button for the starting position okay after that as you can see here is a uh, some sensors inputs okay oil pressure water temperature fuel level okay and also the flexible common ground and charging alternator this is the charging alternator supply okay charging alternator you can supply here and put your charging alternator warning or uh, d d with d sample and put here in a pin six okay after that as you can see 11 inputs user configurable input this is the configurable inputs you can configure for your specific requirement okay this is the that's need to configure with the software okay here from the pin 8 to 9 10 11 12 and 13 this is the user configurable positive output okay this is also the configurable configurable output positive output okay which is used for your specific requirement and pin 34 35 this is your governor engine speed controller or your governor output okay this giving you for you for 5 to 10 volt to control your engine governor speed okay understand and also the pin 37 and pin 38 this is the AVR output to control your generator output supply okay this is only 10 changeable 10 volt DC supply output for the governor and for the AVR okay and the last side of the corner engine ECU shield wire can high and can low okay 
let's move to the top arm as you can see here shield can high can low and 120 ohm resistor connections and then the right side pin 47 pin 48 pin 49 and pin 50 this is the bus voltages of the main supply okay as you can see here the pin 56 and pin 27 this is the group CT connection okay 86 60 only pin 39 40 28 29 30 this is the this DSC high net speed peripheral link okay pin 39 and pin 40 this is for the output for the contractor pin 24 pin 22 pin 23 this is for the MPU pin 41 and pin 42 for the generator close gen set output and also 43 44 45 46 this is the generator voltages inputs and also pin 51 52 53 55 54 this is the generator CT connections so this is the complete wiring diagram explanation of the DFC 8610 I hope to understand to watch the complete videos if you have further any question please write comment below and comment section thanks for watching my video see you all next time and goodbye